morning guys. It's about uh, 5.45 a.m. Is today the day? Do you think that we'll get the uh, air conditioning system up and running? Well, we're surely going to find out. Let me show you what I got on mine. I got a couple things that uh, I want to do this morning. If you guys remember in a recent episode uh, I installed an outdoor uh, temperature sensor I have one left I'm gonna install that uh, in the cab this morning I believe I got the uh, door edge trim that we've got to get replaced because the stuff that's on the truck is falling apart and torn and just doesn't make a very good seal last night I went through and organized all of my fittings into this uh, Milwaukee case that I got at Home Depot when they had them on sale. They were like 15 bucks a piece for these cases. They're pretty awesome. And then I went through and found a bunch of uh, return line that I could possibly use. I've got this nylon braided steel core stuff that I could use. Or I've got this heavy duty, uh, looks to be a, I don't know, two layer silicone hose. That could probably work really well. So we've got a lot of options. Got the hydraulic lines there ready to go. But the first thing I gotta do is get Abel turned around so I can work on them without everybody and their brother coming to ask me what kind of truck it is, where do you take it, all those good things. So I guess we'll get started with that.
right, guys, I got this far. But of course, as I guessed, I'm gonna go need to find these magical mystery fittings for both the top and the bottom of the power steering. Uh, I'm gonna guess they're probably metric. And I need a six inch extension for one of my uh, hydraulic hoses going to the bottom of the steering pump though. So, but other than that, I got everything else hooked up. Um, I'm draining out the old fluid out of the uh, canister there. We're gonna clean that up and put that back in there. But now I get to go on a uh, wild goose chase to try and figure out who's got these parts. So here we go. Well, I'm here at this place. Uh, I'm hoping that they have what I need, so we'll go in and see. All right, guys, I got really lucky on this one. Um, they only had one of each of the fittings that go into the steering box, which is exactly what I needed. So for those of you that might do the same project these are the uh, part numbers for the top two there are for um, the steering box so they're both metric um, and then I uh, converted them over to the uh, male JIC flare and then I got a couple of extensions just to um, give the hoses a little bit more breathing room coming around the steering box and then I grabbed some extra fittings too in case I need them so grand total was about 120 bucks not a big deal for uh, getting myself out of a bind all right heading home guys I'm back home um, one thing I need to do before we charge the system is uh, get this vacuum pump out and get that hooked up to the system and get all the moisture out of it um, I got this yesterday I'll leave a link down in the description um, I have to get it set up so we'll get that going and then we'll start getting the rest of the hydraulics ran and uh, get things buttoned up guys we're moving right along got a uh, good vacuum on the system here it's well below minus 30 hg's had that on there for about an hour now I'll leave it on for a little bit longer but if you remember the routing we we're talking about 
See how we're coming off the uh, hydraulic pump there? That line comes along and it comes into the top of the steering pump, goes through, the bottom one comes out, goes up, ends up at a T, which goes into a solenoid, which has a return to the reservoir. The other side comes up, goes through the hydraulic motor on the AC compressor. All of those lines T together as drain lines, low pressure drain lines, and then back into this line, and then they go all the way back up to the reservoir over here, which I haven't installed yet. I just got done cleaning that out. So um, the cooler will end up going somewhere right here, and at that time I'll probably upgrade. This is kind of test hose. I'll upgrade all the hose to that that black nylon braided stuff, and uh, put that in here. That's a lot stronger and it'll be more uh, stealth uh, aside from all the blue silicone lines here so moving right along it's time for some lunch and then we're gonna come back out and get that reservoir put back in and uh, see how good the vacuum holds on the system I'm gonna turn that pump off here in a little bit and then uh, I guess it's time to start filling up with fluids and refrigerant and see how it goes here we got our electrical connection made for the solenoid 
All of the lines are connected. We got our reservoir back in place. We need to put fluid in the reservoir. Tilt the cab down and put like a block behind it or something to keep it up so I can still get to the service port on the air conditioning. And uh, do a couple tests, make sure the solenoid's functioning, fire the truck up, make sure the steering works. Once we do that, then we'll start filling with refrigerant. All right guys, I had a couple of leaks at the uh, solenoid there because I didn't use any threaded um, Teflon tape. So I took out the fittings and put Teflon tape on them, refilled the system, and the steering's working no problem. So I think it's time to start putting refrigerant in the system. Uh, this says it's 110, but that's because it was sitting in the sun, but I'll find out what the temperature is here and start adding refrigerant.